So the idea of this is it has this little release that you can pull down on. So what we want to do is just remove all the oxidization off the outside of the pipe mm -hmm. so it slides on nice and easy. And then as you pull the trigger, it's going to peel off that outside oxidization away. Yeah. So it's a very simple process and then this is what pushes the pipe off of it. You just want to make sure it doesn't tighten down too much, but try it. It's, it's super yeah. easy. Super easy. So again, it's uh, this post back. So push down on this and then just yeah. slide yeah. it onto yeah. the pipe. There you go. Okay. And then we're just going to put you in the right gear. And now if you just pull the trigger, it'll lock itself off and peel the pipe. Okay. So the idea behind that is we'll clean the pipe off. We'll peel the pipe. Perfect. We'll clean it with some alcohol. We'll slip our coupling on. Mm -hmm. And so as you can imagine how hard it would be for me and you, we don't do a lot of soldering. Imagine if we had to solder this. Whereas the electrofusion, we would literally just take a fitting, and in this case, this is a saddle. So we would build a short, fat header by putting multiple saddles across the mm -hmm. pipe. And very, very simple to do. The yeah. only thing is we have to clean the outside of it off. Clean the outside of this. So you'll clean this with isopropyl, we'll peel this, clean it with isopropyl. We'll hook this up, and it's just a couple of probes, and we cook it on. So if you want to clean the surface back here to saddle it, we have a different peeler that's a clamshell peeler that we would peel the entire length of this. The thermal okay. peelers for putting 90s, T's, yeah. couplings, things like that yeah. on. These are very slick, very easy, and you saw how quickly it cleans it off. And this, this goes back in. Yeah. And the blade is just located right here, so you want to be careful with that. All right. Yeah. It's very slick, so it's how, very how cost effective. Again? So what happens is uh, we do the, the very safe. Notice I have one finger on it because I don't want my blade anywhere near my hand. And then the other thing I don't want to do is I don't want to over tighten it to the point where it gets locked. Like if you were to lock it, then it won't actually push the pipe off as you're peeling. Okay. So what's a set of tools cost? Well, the nice part is the tools we keep here. So we have four electrotrusion tools, four sets of the actual peelers and champers. So when people buy the piping from us, we just provide the tools as a bonus for them to borrow. Okay. Typically, once they borrow the tools, then they want to buy them. So a, a peeler like this would be a few hundred dollars. The electrofusion tool is a couple of thousand dollars. But the electrofusion tool is very, you know, it's you buy one and you have it for the entire sure. job. Sure. So, yeah. Very nice. Awesome.